Hi Capricorn, I'm Pam and welcome to your Psychic Tarot reading for April 2019. This month I'm using the Hanson Roberts Tarot deck and I pulled an additional card using the Angels, Gods and Goddesses Oracle cards at the end of the reading. And remember, these are general readings and to get messages pertaining specifically for you, you would need a private reading. This recording is for Capricorn Sun, Capricorn Ascendant, and Capricorn Moon. Please be sure to watch your rising sign and your moon sign to gain more insight and information because some months they're going to resonate more for you than your sun sign will. And if you're on the cusp of a sign, I recommend you watch the, if you suddenly feel like, wow, these messages aren't making sense for my sun sign, uh, I have had some emails of, from a few people saying that they started to watch the sign that was directly, you know, they were on the cusp there, uh, and it was like a private reading for them. So you might want to check those out and see if that helps you any. And also, I've been on YouTube now for five years, and I've gotten emails during the course of the five years from many people that have written me and told me that things I said a year ago happened for them in the month I'm reading a year later now. So you might want to go back and listen to April of 2018 because some of the things happening there might be actual that were in those readings might be happening now in this month of April 2019. So all that being said, Capricorn, now on to your April 2019 Psychic Tarot reading. First card you have here is Eight of Swords, and this is being trapped in an emotional prison or trapped and bound to a situation that you might not be able to see how to get out of. I feel like you don't like a situation you're in. I feel like you're stuck, and I feel that... <clears throat> I feel like you don't know what to do. I actually feel... Not always do I feel like the description of the card matches exactly what the person's feeling, but in your case, I really feel that does apply to you. I do feel like you've gotten too entrenched and too deep in some kind of situation uh, that you may not want to be in. And you may feel like, how long do I keep stay in this situation? How long should I stay? Uh, I, I hear my guide saying that. So, so for some of you, this could be a job that you want to get out of. Maybe you feel like you're in too deep and you really don't like it and you're not really sure how long you want to get out of it or you've obligated yourself, you've, you've agreed to do something for someone to help them out and you're like, man, I wish I didn't agree to that. How much longer do I have to do this? What's it going to take to get out of it? Could even be a love relationship. That's possible too. Or a friendship. You may even have some people putting the squeeze on you that are trying to get you to do more than what you signed up for. So maybe at your job, you've got bosses or higher ups trying to get you to do more work than what you got hired for or do other people's work. Um, this could also be if you're in a, uh, like I said earlier, if you agree to help somebody out and or <coughs> you agree to do X, Y, Z, and now they're putting more job duties and more responsibilities on you and you only agreed to do, uh, you know, so much and now they're loading you up. Some of you are also in the final stages of completing something and you don't know what the outcome is going to be. So this could be <clears throat> a test or exams that you took. <clears throat> this could also be like an interview process. Maybe you had to take tests or apply for licenses or permits or you need licenses and permits and you had to take tests to get that or to get certified in something and you're like wondering like you don't know what the outcome is going to be so for some of you I pick up that's what's going on here for you and I do feel like you may have had a little bit of a difficult time here because I pick up that you feel that way like this was challenging and that something about how things rolled along is now making you nervous so that's coming up here as well I also feel if it's in a job related situation some of you may feel like if you don't get out of where you are now or make some kind of decision 
right now or soon, that there's an opportunity that's being offered to you or that's passing by that if you don't take it now, it, the opportunity is going to be lost. But I feel like, you know, I, I don't feel like you're certain about what you should do. Stay where you are or take the opportunity. Now, it could even be in a love relationship or some other kind of relationship, some other situation. It doesn't have to be work, but it feels like you don't, it could even be a living situation that for some reason you feel like like something's coming by here and if you don't take the jump on it you're you're kind of you may be stuck where you are for a while that's the sensation i get now <clears throat> look you got another uh kind of similar card not totally but you got two of swords so two of swords means um look at the two together see very similar in their way in in some ways Two of Swords to me is um, something being blocked, a stop, or a stalemate. Or you could be uh, protecting yourself, taking protective measures, guarding yourself. And there's emotions tied up here in whatever this is. I feel like you're, you're kind of in something that you feel trapped in and you feel uncomfortable about. It could be somebody you're dating or in a relationship it could be a roommate situation people you're living with uh it, it could be also uh like i said a job situation you, i feel like you almost feel like the universe is playing a cruel joke on you i do because it feels like i feel you are so completely torn about something like uh that you're like why is this coming up now why is this happening now when I'm doing this and I've been working towards these goals or this situation has been what, been what I'm comfortable with and now I get presented with this other thing that looks really appealing or could work out really well, but there's risks on both sides. I feel like your risk in staying in what you're staying with is, may end up turning south or making you feel disappointed or like you missed the boat on some opportunity and if you take the risk maybe it's not 100% sure you're going to get it or <clears throat> and then you would lose the original thing that you had or that you just don't know if you're jumping from the frying pan into the fire like yeah like this looks good but you know sometimes when you, you get into something it's not as good as it looked so I do hear Capricorns are feeling like, why is this cruel joke happening to me now? Why is the universe, do, you know, doing this? If you've been feeling dizzy lately, uh, you might want to get checked out by a doctor. You could have some kind of inner ear uh, infection or something with your equilibrium may be off. Um, you could have some hormonal thing going on. I don't know, but I pick up dizziness for some of you. It could even be from something you're eating. Could be causing it, eating or drinking. I feel like ultimately you're kind of going to hold out until you absolutely are 100% sure what you know. Even if you risk losing this, whatever this opportunity, chance, or whatever it is going by. I don't feel you're going to be gambling it just feels to me like you're going to stick with what's going on or where you are until you have like more facts or more information. That's what I feel ultimately you will do. You have the justice card here, and this could be dealing with court, the court systems, court papers, legal documents, lawyers, um, <clears throat> could be lawsuits, divorces. Now, it could also be not legal. It could be situations that were once unfair and unjust are now going to become balanced, fair, and just and have nothing to do with legal uh, situations at all. I feel like you're going to start setting some boundaries and saying, laying down the law a little bit about how you want things to go. And I feel like there's some things that you're going to want in writing. So if this has to do with a job, I feel like you're going to want contracts or want something in writing that somebody is promising you. 
Um, it could also be if you're getting married, maybe you want to have a prenuptial agreement or you want maybe you want to get married because you think there needs to be a legally binding agreement between you and your partner. I don't know, but I, I do get for some of you Capricorns, I feel you want something uh, in writing. I do legally binding in writing. And this is something that's going to really make you feel solid and secure. Um, <clears throat> I feel in the other two cards, in some ways you feel solid and secure, but in some ways you don't. I feel like this is going to make you feel solid and secure. And I really do feel that Capricorn, you're going to be evaluating a lot of what's going on by how you feel. Even though I do feel, I, I did hear you need facts and you want things in writing and that's what's going to make you feel better. But I also do feel I'm not going to discount. I'm not going to throw out a, a, of the window that you are going to be really weighing the scales of how do I feel? You're going to be using that as a, a thermometer or a barometer in the situations coming up for you in April. Some of you are going to be taking a class that involves law. It, you could be in law school, some of you. Uh, but for some of you, you may need to learn some kind of laws about something to do with the job that you're in. Like maybe you need to know like the state you live in or province you live in or country you live in is changing certain laws and therefore the place you work or the field you're in or the field you're going into requires you to take a class on something that is going to give you the information and knowledge about certain and specific laws. It could be environmental laws. It could be medical laws in the medical field. I don't know. Or it could just be laws for your state, province, or, or uh, country. So next card you have here is the death card. And this is a card of transformation, something ending so something new can begin. You don't want to get forgotten about. And I get that if you can't make some kind of mark or stand out, then you're thinking that people are going to forget about you. And I, I mean this in a sense of like moving forward in your career uh, or a job opportunity or a part in a play, a part in a mu movie, if you're an author of books, if, uh, if you're in, uh, maybe you do investing in the financial world, uh, maybe you're a stockbroker, uh, or it could even be in love, like to get love. I, I feel like you feel if you don't get, make some statement, marked difference, stand out, then you're going to get forgotten about or, thi or things are going to pass you by. I see you thinking that and I feel you feeling that. Now, this is a general reading Capricorn. So what area does that make sense to you? Because my guides are telling me that, so only you can decide where do you feel that way about. Is it your love life? Is it career? Is it a specific thing? I don't know. I feel like you're also going to start keeping a record of things. You could be journaling or keeping things factually down on paper, like keeping a record of either what you do what you eat every day or what your job duties are or what tasks you performed or uh, maybe even notes because you want to write a journal, a book, a magazine, an article, a blog. I don't know what you want to do. I'm not exactly sure why you're writing this information down. Some of you, if you got hired to do a specific task and then the people were making you do way more things than what you originally agreed to, you're going to write down everything you're doing because of that. Some of you, I see you're in the medical field and you're doing it because you may be a home health care worker or a nurse or you are taking care of one of your elderly family members or relatives or parents and and you're writing down like what did they do what did they eat how did that go what how did they feel 
or and or you could be keeping a record because your siblings aren't doing squat could be that you know I, I don't know why you're writing this stuff down but I see you journaling things down but I really feel like for some of you you're journaling what did you do like what have you been doing what is the work you've been doing or maybe you're making lesson plans maybe you're a teacher or you're going to make some kind of speech or you're going to uh, be teaching a seminar or a workshop and so you're writing down things that you want to say in the workshop and the seminar or that there's going to be groups that are going to divide up and what the different groups are going to do I don't know but you're writing stuff down and why you're doing it you have to go back to all the things I just said because for some of you that's going to make sense but it's a general reading not a private reading so I, the reasons you're writing this stuff down is all different. For many of you, I feel it's because you want a record of exactly what you did. Or you want a record of exactly what the person you were watching or caregiving for or, or a job situation you were responsible for of what you did because it may be even going above and beyond what you were required to do. Or... It's for the benefit of other reasons. So you just have to see how it plays out, Capricorn. That one was a little confusing. So last card you have here, Ace of Cups. This is new love relationship. It could also be um, a love relationship you're in is getting a rebirth, a reigniting, a reigniting of love happening in an existing relationship. It could also be the, you know, universal love. Maybe you're on YouTube and people are going to be like, yay, Capricorn, I love you. It could be something like that. It could be love from the public, love from your students, love from your patients, love from your, the people you financially advise. I don't know. It could be love coming to you through your career, through your family. Some of you Capricorns are getting very embroiled in a love relationship. You may already know them and it may have already started because for some of you, I feel like it's at the beginning stages and it's getting deeper. That's what I feel first. But if you're single and you haven't met them yet, then, you know, hi ho, they may be showing up in April 2019. And for those of you that were single and this is new love, this is a lasting love that dreams are made of. This is not going to be a fly-by-night uh, relationship. That's not how it feels to me. Some of you Capricorns are going to give birth to a child in springtime, in the springtime, which April is spring, but it could come later. Spring goes in, in the northern hemisphere in the United States. It goes until like June 20th or June 21st. So... I get springtime here for a birth of a child for some of you Capricorns. Also, my guides are talking about if you had a love relationship that kind of faltered or got into shambles, your love life is going to get repaired, which is kind of interesting now that I think about it, because if you had a rocky time of it during Mercury and retrograde and you broke up or love relationships were like rocky or kind of falling apart, it, it's mercury is now direct and so you could have a reversal where it gets repaired because my guides say for some of you that had a rocky time of it uh in love a love like uh, a love relationship gets repaired for some of you if this is a new relationship again this is a love relationship that dreams are made of and you will uh i feel many of you that this is applying to will get married or if you don't believe in, you know, having the legal documentation and going through all that, you will live together like you're married without the paper. So now I'm going to look into your angels, gods, and goddesses oracle card. And the card you got, Capricorn, is angel of manifestation. Your efforts, determination, and perseverance have paid off. Good for you, Capricorn. That's a cool looking card. I like that blue. I really feel Capricorns have kind of walked through some fire and now you are here. Like you walked through some struggles and you survived and you're here. And I feel like you've kind of arrived and that once you get solid on what it is you want to do and where it is you're going, 
no one is going to be able to knock you off your pedestal, your stand, your uh, fortress, your rock. Uh, so I feel like you're really coming into a very strong time, like your presence is a very, you have a very strong presence now in April and moving forward. I feel like you do believe unity is everything among people and in love relationships and, and in, among people. But the thing you can't abide is like, sorry, my dog's snoring, is uh, falsehoods, lies. Like you can't, your tolerance for that is incredibly low, uh, especially now. You're a very strong doer. And you are a healer, even though you may not feel like you are. And you bring a lot of light into situations, even where you don't realize you're doing it. And you really do hold the key to your future. And in some ways, Capricorn, you don't really trust other people to do that for you. You trust yourself. You trust yourself because you know you hold the key to your happiness and your success. And I feel that you've come to the realization you can't pin your star to somebody else or have the hopes and wishes and dreams that somebody else is going to do that for you, that you hold the key to your success. And I feel it's a strong time of you to show people how it's done and that people are going to be following you, either by your example or that you are going to be teaching them and leading them in some way. So that was a little confusing. I hope you understand those messages. So I hope this reading was of help to you and I hope it made sense. As always, thanks for watching and please like, share and subscribe. And if you hit that notification bell when you subscribe, you'll get notified when I upload my videos here to YouTube if you would like to get that notification. And Capricorn, if you'd like a continuation of this reading where I look into my crystal and give you additional predictions and messages from my spirit guides for the month of April 2019, you can access these videos for download and purchase by clicking on the link below this video in the show more section, and it will take you to my Vimeo videos on demand page for April 2019 psychic crystal readings for each sign of the zodiac. You can also access these videos by going to my website, www.theluckymermaid.com. Click on the videos tab on my menu, and there you will see these psychic crystal readings for April will be the at the top of the page. You just click on your sign and it will take you to that video on Vimeo. And Capricorn, if you want to know what's lucky and new for you in 2019, annually I do this reading and this year I did it again. You can access those, those uh, videos for download and purchase by clicking on the other link below this video in the show more section. And they're also available by going to my website, videos page, look for the heading, what's lucky and new for you in 2019 psychic tarot readings. You just click on your sign. It will take you to that video on Vimeo. In these readings, last year I used three cards. I don't know what I did in the previous years, but last year I did three cards. This year I did six cards. I pulled three cards from the Hanson Roberts tarot deck, which is the these cards. And I pulled uh, three additional cards from the Morgan Greer tarot deck to expand and confirm on the Hanson Roberts tarot deck. And these are the cards that I use in my private readings, and I feel they give uh, really accurate, uh, my guides work through them really well and give accurate predictions and messages. So hopefully you'll check them out. And Capricorn, if you would like to see messages and predictions from me and my spirit guides that you're not going to be able to see here on YouTube, you can follow me on Facebook. I have two business pages at The Lucky Mermaid LLC and at The Psychic Pastry Chef LLC, and at my Instagram account of The Lucky Mermaid underscore Pam Georgell. I post psychic tarot readings, psychic oracle card readings, and psychic crystal readings. And on Instagram, I do little videos uh, that I post occasionally on Instagram. 
So if you want to get additional messages and predictions, please be sure to check those out. So I hope you have an absolutely awesome April Capricorn and know that I wish you many blessings and peace. Bye.